Here are seven easy peasy lemon squeezy hidden tips and tricks in Elementor's free version. Tip number one is using Quick Go with Elementor Finder. Simply press Command on a Mac or Control on Windows followed by the E key to bring up Finder. From here you can type in pretty much anything within Elementor and for example if we want to edit the home page we now just click it and it'll take us straight through. That brings us to tip number two using the hotkey list. Again press Command on a Mac or Control on Windows followed by the question mark key to bring up the keyboard shortcuts. From here you'll be able to see all the little quick shortcuts you can use on your keyboard to navigate your way around Elementor easily. Tip number three is dual color titles and entrance animations. So let's add an entrance animation and dual color title to this heading that we have here. Because we have a single column background, the first thing we want to do is create an inner section. Come over to your widgets, grab an inner section and drag it below your title. Now simply take your title, drag it into one of the inner sections, then take the second part of it and move it over to the other side. We can simply duplicate this, move it over to the right, come on in and paste our other text. Now that we have it in line, move the alignment of the right one over to the left and move the alignment of the left one over to the right. We can then change the color of the one on the right. Under style, go to color. I'm going to change this one over to a blue. And now to add in our entrance animations, go over to the one that we have on the left and under the advanced tab, come down to the motion effects panel. From here under entrance animation, we can choose a lot of things. I'm going to go with slide in from the left. And then for the one on the right, I'm going to do the same thing. Come on over to Advanced, go to Motion Effects, Entrance Animations, and slide in from the right. If we now preview the page, as we scroll down, we're going to see this nice animation, and it comes in like that. You can always change the speed settings under the animation duration, change it from normal to slow or to fast, and you can have an animation delay. Just remember that this is in milliseconds, so a thousand milliseconds equals one second. Therefore, if I wanted a delay of half a second, I'd need to put in 500, and that slows it down. Final thing on this one, just remember to switch on over to the mobile view. And here you may well have to adjust things. Under content here, for example, I would change this to center. We could always come under style and change the typography size. But for your entrance displays, come back under Advanced, and this time, go to Motion Effects, and instead of it being sliding in from the sides, change it to sliding in and up for the bottom one, and for the top one, sliding in and down. Tip number four is vertical dividers. Horizontal dividers are easy in Elementor, vertical ones not quite so much. If you have Elementor Pro, you can do this with the divider widget simply by adding custom CSS, but in the free version we don't have that luxury. So instead, when you have two columns side by side, come up to the column on the left, column settings, go under style, and then come down to border. From here, change the border to solid, and then change the width on the right. Let's make it three. And now you can see that we have a vertical divider that has been put between the two. Let's preview it. If you want to adjust the spacing at all between these, you can. You simply need to come under the advanced section and adjust the margins and the padding. Just remember when you've done your border to come on over to the mobile view. You don't want it appearing now over on the right hand side as that's going to look weird. So just make sure to go back in, come under style under the column section and under border, and turn it off on the mobile. Tip number five is overlapping images with other columns. In this example, if I want the image to come on over to the right so that our text starts to partially cover it, it's really easy to do. Simply come on over to the image widget and head on over to the advanced panel. From here, change the margins and make them negative in the direction we want the image to go. I want my image to come over to the right, so I reduce the right hand margin. That will bring it across and now we start to see that our text comes over the image. Just bear in mind that if you have this the other way around, so I'll duplicate the section, come on down here, go back to our image, get rid of that margin that I just put in, and now move this column over to the right instead. This time, when I do it with the image, so I bring it to the left and reduce it down, it's going to cover up the text. And the reason for that is the Z index. So what you need to do is come to your Z index here, change the image over to 1, then come on over to the column, and then under the Advanced tab, go down to Z-Index and change it to 2. 
you'll then see that the text is visible again and coming over the image. It doesn't work with the one that I'm using here, but for you it might be exactly right. Just remember to check out what this now looks like on mobile, you might need to set the margins back on the mobile view. Tip number six is revision history. Elementor has a handy history tool just down here in the bottom left hand corner. If you've made a change you don't like, simply open up the history tool and we could then go back. Choose on a particular edit that you want and it'll take you back to that stage. This way you can go forwards and backwards in time in your designing and it's an easy way to correct any mistakes or things that you decide you don't like. And tip number seven, duplicating a whole page. Now with Elementor it's quite easy to duplicate sections, you can right click them and duplicate or you can even save them as templates and of course in the pro version you can create global items as well. But if you want to copy an entire page over simply go down to the bottom and simply right click where you would normally create a new section, there you'll find the option to copy all content. Do that and then you can create a new page from your WordPress dashboard, go over and paste it in and it'll duplicate the entire page for you. Last up, a bonus tip for you. If you want a beautiful parallax hero image, then it's really simple. Come up to the section settings and under style, choose your image and then under attachment, change it from default over to fixed. This will allow you to have a beautiful parallax image that adds more interest to your homepage. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you found it helpful. Let me know in the comments which ones of these tips you already knew and make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. YouTube's changed things now, so if you don't have notifications on, new videos are not gonna turn up in your subscription feed. So hit that bell icon, hit like, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.